give us a sense first about um, what was distinctive about the fatwa that you issued and the degree to which you think that could be usefully repeated uh, as to a degree it has been in other countries, whether it's the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, whether it's uh, uh, the United Arab Emirates, whether it's Indonesia, and whether the, the nature of these fatwas have to be you know, particularly afraid to deal with a particular form of Islam or Islamic um, um, uh, structure that exists in different countries, or whether there's a one-size-fits-all policy for fatwas of this kind. <coughs> Fatwa takes a sojourner. I would like to, first of all, say a few words categorically that terrorism has no religion. No religion on the earth preaches extremism, radicalism, and terrorism. This is just a criminal attitude which can develop out of any kind of environment, and there are many causes behind it. The fatwa which you have discussed now mentioned, and I am supposed to explain some distinctive features of that fatwa. <coughs> I have just taken one aspect of the terrorism in this fatwa. I have not discussed the root causes. I have not discussed the political causes, the regional, local, or global causes. I have not taken into consideration the socio-economic causes and many other political aspects which need to be analyzed and discussed, I have not taken into consideration. My 600-page fatwa, I have just concentrated on a single point, and that is that what is Islamic stance and Islamic jurisprudential, theological, and academic or religious viewpoint on act of killing, whether Muslims or not Muslims, or act of suicide bombing, or any kind of act of terrorism in any form and any manner.